already a bit of news regarding that matchup next week. The Hurricanes opening up tonight as a four-point favorite over the Huskers for Saturday afternoon's contest. With more on how Nebraska is looking heading into that first road test, let's check in with Andy Kendi and Big Red Zone insider Sean Callahan of HuskerOnline.com. All right, first down, we'll go with Terrell Newby. What a night for him. Career highs, 198 yards on the ground and three total touchdowns. Yeah, so that whole committee thing kind of worked out for about a week. And Mike Riley just said, yep, we're going to go back to kind of what I want to do. And he's always been kind of a one running back guy, especially if he has that guy. But the depth is good here, and he rec respects that. Uh, but it was important, I think, Andy, that Nebraska established kind of a, a number one as they go out to Miami. A second down, we'll talk about... Tommy Armstrong Jr., 270 yards in the air, but more importantly, was 21 for 30. That's 70% completion percentage. And now he's almost 64% on the season. And we talked in the preseason, that's where he needs to be. He needs to be a guy in the 60s. And just his confidence, his game management, uh, the way he distributes the ball, he's not just zoning in on Jordan Westerkamp. You see him finding multiple receivers on the field, and he's becoming a more complete quarterback. Defensively, on third down, this is a unit that got banged up with injuries, especially at the linebacker position. But Michael Rose Ivy started his first game in almost two years, played real well with 10 tackles. And it was an emotional game for him, I know, just because of the suspension and not getting a black shirt, missing all of last year. This is his first game since the Gator Bowl win over Georgia back in Jacksonville. So it, it has been a long time. I thought he set the tone for this defense, as well as Nathan Gary early with that interception. And fourth down, moving forward, this was a momentum builder, a shot in the arm, a get well game now as they go to Miami. Yeah, and you look at this Miami trip, they needed this, Andy, because you didn't want to go out to Miami with questions on this offense or defense. We know Brad Kaya and what he can do, because he did it in this stadium and, and gave Nebraska a lot of problems last year. Now, Miami has not been great either. They've had some issues uh, with their offense at times um, this year, even on Friday night against Florida Atlantic. So, this is kind of one of those toss-up games, and I think for Nebraska now, with their offense playing well, uh, it's a really good uh, sign as they go out to Miami. It is going to be fun. Nebraska at Miami next Saturday at 2 30.